Hello everybody, Happy New Year and welcome back to Eurobox. So we have all the songs that are in the bidding to represent Ireland in Eurovision 2023. They will compete in the Late Late Show Eurovision Special on February 3rd. One of those songs which I'm going to listen to today is by an artist called Leila Jane and it's called Wild. So Leila Jane is a indie singer-songwriter who is based in Dublin. She has submitted this song and she describes it as such. All Eurovision songs need a strong message and Wild is an empowering song about the strength of a woman's spirit. She says, Wild represents my love of the creative freedom I have here in Ireland. That's nice. It would be an absolute honour to show Eurovision what Ireland's got. For the track, she teamed up with uh, an Estonian songwriter, a Finnish producer and a British songwriter. So it's a very international flavour. So I'm delighted to be able to listen to it today. You know that Ireland, we need to get back in the grand final. It's my country, so I'm invested in this listening session. Um, will this be the song to do it? Let's face it, we can't get any worse. We can't get any worse. So let's have a look and listen to Leila Jane. Okay, so Leila Jane has a music video, so that's good. That's a good sign. Many times uh, in the Eurovision, Eurosong selections for Ireland, we don't actually get a music video, so this is telling. Hmm. Looks like something a bit quirky and strange. We're waiting for the music to start. Ah, okay. So we have a piano intro. Nice. This is a very quirky, artsy music video. I'm liking it. Okay. But the song, let's listen to the song. The production is good. The production is good. It doesn't sound like a demo. Oh yeah, it's getting some tempo, building. Her voice is very easy listening. Where is it going? Ooh, we've got a tempo shift. I like the message. I'm not afraid of the dark. I'm not afraid of the cold. Her voice is very pleasant to listen to. And it's building, it's building, it's building. The chorus. Yes. Her voice switches, her voice changes. She sounds like a different person in the chorus. She gets this strength and uh, this uh, delicacy in her voice, but strong power. Wow. It's hooky. That uh, kind of repetitive hooky sound. That's really good. Okay, we're in the second verse. I'm liking where this is going. The production is top notch. This is very refined sound engineering and production, which we often don't get in Ireland's Euro Song Special. It's a very pleasant bridge. I feel like with this song, it's all about the chorus. I was very impressed with that change of tempo, change in voice, and a leap. She just sails over those vocals. It's really engaging. Yeah, there's something quite addictive about this chorus. Nice. This music video is very quirky, I like it. I want to know more about her. She seems like a very cool, quirky artist. I love that riff, the guitar riff. It sounds like an, a, a very raw electric guitar sound. That riff is really good. Fantastic. I want to watch that music video again. Ooh, I'm happy with that. That is really, really a strong entry, actually. Um, I can see that in Eurovision. I can see it having wild, wide appeal and wild appeal, maybe. Um, it's difficult to know how that would be staged. Would it be a solo performance? Would there be some element of dance involved? I have been following her Instagram and I see that she has engaged a Toronto-based creative agency 
to produce the performance on the Late Late Show, which is something new in the realm of Irish selection shows. So that is very promising. Uh, you can definitely hear that a lot has been invested in top-notch refined production. It's very well arranged. I especially love the chorus, especially love that the song builds to a very strong chorus. Her voice changes. I, I can, you can, there's like a very, very distinctive difference between her voice in the verse and her voice in the chorus. It seems to just sail and glide through those notes um, with a very hooky melody. And in the background, this really, really catchy guitar riff that is kind of raw and very um, edgy, I would say. Um, I am impressed. I like that. I like that. How would it fare if it is selected to go to Eurovision? Can't say that, like, on first listen, I can see it as a surefire qualifier. Uh, but I can see that it would have wide appeal and would be appreciated. Um, and if she performs vocally as well live or better live than it is in the studio version, then this could be one to watch. This could be one to watch. Uh, hopefully it could be a song that would get us back into the grand final. So yeah, well done Leila Jane, that's fantastic. So keep your eyes on Eurobox, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and do all the things that you need to do. You'll find us also on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook so you can follow us there. You'll stay up to date, up to date with all the Eurovision news by following us in all those places. So good to talk to you and see you again soon, bye.